It's been three months since we told you about a Valley violinist who's been sharing her gift of music throughout the pandemic. Tonight, Chris Serenelli follows up with Rachel Spack as she reaches the milestone she set out to reach last May. Thanks to COVID, folks had a lot of time to fiddle around for the last year or so. The type of fiddling Rachel Spack has done has not only helped her music skills stay sharp, but brought the smiles and good vibes so many have been yearning for. I just planned on recording for the month of May and then kind of took it one day at a time. Taking inspiration from an Irish trio, Spack started a daily violin video on Facebook last May 1st. It didn't take long for the momentum to pick up. Can I make it to 100, 200? And last Saturday, she saw just how far she could make it. To number 365. And it felt really great just to be able to say I have completed such a task. But some of those days were easier than others. Playing every day is a joy. Recording, not so much. It's a little bit stressful. When I first started, I had more time to learn each song. In the middle, the nitty gritty, it was me learning one new tune every single day. Spack knows she could have easily given up on the streak, but knowing what it was doing for herself and for others kept her going. There were more people watching than I even realized. So now that she's done a whole year's worth of violin recordings, what's she planning to do to top that? I am restarting at tune number one. Today's May 5th, I'm on tune number five. A second chance to share something positive after a year that's brought so much of the opposite. Reporting with more local news, I'm Chris Serenelli.